Hello, Mr. Red here. Today is March the 11th, 2017. Today marks the anniversary of the, the one year anniversary of the flood here at St. Joseph Abbey, where uh, the water came in up to three feet and uh, left behind $30 million worth of damage. It's uh, been a long year and it's still, it's still, still going on uh, right now as, as we speak, uh, the, the recovery of it. But today, um, we're in the St. Abigail yard right here and today I got Wreck-It Ralph He's standing right there. He didn't want to get in the camera right now. He's standing right there. And we've been doing splits over at the Abbey. And now we're across the street at the Abigail Yard. And uh, we're doing splits. And, and all we're doing, we're doing a 50-50 split, which is we're using a, um, a double screen dividing board, just a board, a, a spacer board that's got screening between it. We uh, put a piece of, uh, we place this between the boxes, in between the boxes. And uh, put a piece of newspaper down there to uh, kind of like break the pheromone, and um, put the entrance of the of the dividing board opposite. So we're going to place this entrance to the rear of it, and we're going to go ahead and we'll leave these things on there um, for seven days. And after seven days, we'll come back and uh, find out. Hopefully, we'll have the queen up in the second box, and uh, find out where the queen is. And then we'll go in the bottom box, hopefully where the queen wasn't, and uh, we'll do a, uh, queen cell evaluations, and then uh, put the hive back together, and then about 10 days, 12 days after that, actually split them apart. So we've already done 11 of them. I think we've done 11 or 12 or 13, something like that already. And so we're on the other side of the street now. We're gonna, we've got three of them to do up here. So uh, God's been blessing us all day. The rain's held off. The bees have been really nice. And uh, so we got three more to do up here and, and we'll be finished. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this uh, splitting, uh, actually just putting the dividing boards in there. Follow along and watch how we do it. So here we go. You think they got some bees in here? I'd be mad. You know what? I'm gonna just leave that on there though. They're going to be wild. Alright, if you grab your stuff and, and then I'll hold the box. You think this is a healthy hive? This bill to give a thumbs up after that. Good. Good. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, put the screen dividing board between the two boxes. These were just honey supers. We um, left the excluder was still on it, so we just left that on there and put these right on top. Now what's going to happen is that the bees that are in this box, they're all going to start cycling back through and they're going to start coming through here because this is, this is the entrance that they know. So this box is, hopefully we have the queen up in here and uh, the bees will start coming back in here. And uh, so we'll get our, our new queen will develop here and our old queen here. And then 10 days after that, after, um, well, 10 days, it'd be 20 days actually from now, I'll remove this box, actually put it on another stand and, um, and then let the bees again fly back to this box right here. So that's about it. There's not a lot to it. Not a lot to do on the um, putting a screen dividing board in it. 
It's a really, really easy way to, uh, to do a, a split, a vertical split or a 50-50 split. There's not a lot to it. And you saw Ralph and I did it. When you get two people, one guy doesn't have to handle all the boxes. Two guys makes it a lot easier. Or women, two girls. Um, so that's about it. We have That's all I have for you today. Uh, before I close, I'll, 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 I'd like to talk about the little uh, beekeeping section. Um, and today I'm going to highlight a beekeeper in uh, Bakersfield, Texas, which is about 70 miles south of, uh, of Odessa. Um, and her name is Amy Hartman. She's been a beekeeper for three years, and she says Bakerfield's, only thing that about Bakerfield's is a couple of gas stations along the interstate. Other than that, you're gonna miss it. But Bakersfield, Texas, it's, it's out in the desert. Um, so it's a totally different kind of beekeeping situation than we have here in Louisiana, all this nice green, lush living stuff going on and lots of water. Uh, she has to feed, uh, water her bees all year round. She has to water bees. There's not a lot of natural habitat for the bees, but she actually, uh, they live on a, a farm that grows cotton, which uh, she says blooms in the, in the late summer. Uh, she started out with three hives that she bought, um, nukes, and uh, now she's up to 12, but she, uh, she does like what I like to do. And, which is catching swarms, doing trap outs and, and traps and setting traps and, uh, and doing cutouts. And as she said, she's, she's got her eye on three uh, hives right now and she's just waiting for the opportunity to, to go cut them out of the buildings out there. So I'm gonna close with, uh, with that and uh, thank you for watching. Keep on watching and I'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed. I'm out here until the next video.